G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. G'day everyone, welcome back to my Corpy series. I've just been dragging a few logs over to the coal production. Uh, I wanted to get this area cleared out because I think I'll put my last sheep pen in here. I was considering what else I could put or maybe a couple more greenhouses but I think the sheet panel go there pretty good and it's sort of out of the way. That way, just over in that bit of a clearing, hmm, there goes the milk truck. It's a pretty cool truck. If I ever get to cow stage, I think I might have to get me one of them. Cool. Yeah, so over there in the clearing, I think I've dropped off these logs. I'll probably put a big flour mill once I sell our current grain windmill. I'm just waiting for it to finish processing the very last of its stuff. I think there's a little bit of canola and some barley from last month still to be processed. Got a pretty big month or pretty big session. Got that massive canola field to harvest. Oh, and I also have a small field over the river that I'll need to get to as well. So, plot 16 field 2 is huge. Uh, I think we're going to have to get going with that pretty much straight away. I added in a couple of dirt roads just after I finished last time and that chewed up most of my money so I'm down to $47 um, I'm guessing the John Deere is going to be working pretty hard dragging logs out and I think I have this nice cut through road now so I don't need to go through town anymore but I think I think what I'll be doing, yeah restart time blah blah blah, is trying to clear out these logs, or well, these trees here, because I really want to expand that field once I harvest it in a couple of months. So we'll focus on the canola field. But I'll also need to start chopping down all these trees and I'll probably just drag them down to the sawmill and get them sold. For now though we'll hop over into the combine and get it going because it's going to take a long time to do that field. I was hoping to have a brand new shiny combine by now, uh, but well, as you saw last month, I bought a sawmill, <laughs> sugar mill, and oil mill. <laughs> Went a bit crazy. I think the best way to do this is going to be to make him go round and round and round. Especially since I should get all of that done pretty quick. We'll try five headlands and see how we go. Looks all right. I wonder if I can do six and maybe get rid of some of that. Nope, it's still on three and happy with three. Fair enough. It looks like it's going to stick to the course all right. And it's going to be an hour. So let's just sit in the combine for the next hour and have some fun. Yeah, no. <laughs> this 
not all that much I want to do because I've got to get this field done. It's probably not going to get replanted this month because of the time it's going to take. But I do, well, it's at 10% already, so it's not even going to get around once. I do want to get some logs cut and drag back to the sawmill, or I'm going to run out of money for the driver. Although I do have strawberries and lettuce being auto sold, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm not really sure when they'll sell next starter. So I might hop into the, I think it's the 150 just back behind us, and take it over to the other side of the field, ready to unload the combine into for the first time. It's got it. Sorry, it's got the nice new flash trailer that we got last month as well. I think it'll hold either three or four combine loads. Try not to kill the crop as we go around, although this tractor does have narrow tyres on it. going to prioritise which trailer it will empty out into, but I'll drop this one in the field as well for now, because I can get two and a bit combine, no, I can get two combine loads emptied into this one too. As we get more of the field harvested, I'll move the trailers further in. nothing else I really need to do with the 150 so we're just going to leave it sitting here and waiting for the combine to get back now I'll go cut down a couple of trees so that the John Deere can start dragging them over to the sawmill so I can get some money all right let's knock down It's a really thin slice of wood. Hmm. I doubt I could cut a slice that thin again if I tried. <laughs> For now, we'll just sit it. Uh, 
over here near the chook pen. Ooh, have they got food? Yep, they're not doing too bad on food, and we've nearly got two pallets of eggs. Go. I think I can get three of these trees. It's not all that many left here now. Been wanting to cut these and get a mood for months and just don't have the time. That's a bit weird. Alright, it's stuck in the ground. Hopefully when I chop it in two, it'll fall down properly. There, cut there, and here. to those two at the back and try and drag them across. And hope the tractor doesn't get upended or anything. Not sure why it's still sticking in the ground. I think I might just need to make this bit disappear. Oh okay, yeah, it should fix that up. Don't know what was going on there. and just stuck it back in the ground again. Alright, I think I'll cut my losses with that and just take them. Let's add in big bend. Ah uh, yeah, I renamed all of my productions so I have a P in front of them now. Okay, so there seems to be a problem with this sawmill. Uh, as you saw, I suddenly had $22,000. For some reason, four wood makes 1,000 furniture rather than one furniture. So, alright, that looks like that. that's what the problem is. So you can see three trees equals four planks. 5,000 wood chip makes 1,000 planks, which is fair enough. That's five into one. <laughs> but the trees, four trees, make 1,000 um, furniture. So that's the problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is pause here for, well, for you, about five seconds. 
go in and see if I can modify the game file or the mod file and change this back. So I updated it so that its output is the same as my smaller one, which in turn is the same as the base game ones. I have to take away some money too. I'm not quite sure how much I would have got from the sale of all the strawberries and everything. So I think I'll take 20 grand and call it even. So that sits me back at 2,100 which is actually a hundred dollars less than when I started drawing in all of the dirt paths. I think that's a reasonable compromise. I certainly haven't gained anything although you might say I got the money back and did the paths for free. Paths don't really add to the game. Now what's this going to do? Make sure it swings around, preferably without crashing into the trailers. I think I'll move these up a little bit so they're out of the way. I'm glad the sawmill... Oh, hello puppy, you're a long way from home. I'm glad the sawmill doesn't charge for parking, or I'd probably run this at a loss. Alright, 3500. And we want to go back to the river parking lot for now, and then I'll hook up another load of wood shortly. Still need to get the sugar beet equipment moved from the shop too so I'll try and remember to do that a bit later on. For now I need to go find the Zeta and see what it's up to. Ah uh, yes. I was having a look at how I could clear the silage pit out and well I basically got to here. I think I need to go and clear the other end out for some reason before I can take the cover off the silage pit or take it off the rest of the way at least. So I had this problem last time as well. Maybe I should stop using the silage pits and invest in a proper baler. Definitely something to consider. But we got the silage forks on, so I'll be able to tidy up the edges like I did last time. Just need to finish doing this and then go sell it cause well, I don't have cows. I can't afford cows and don't really have a use <laughs> for the silage right now. Okay. Get that up. Just hop out quick and see if I can remove more of the blanket. Nope, okay, looks like I need to pick up all the silage on both ends before I can take the blanket the rest of the way off. Next time I do silage, I reckon I might try and do it with a actual baler. Right. 
get him sent off to the bale sale place and since that's so far away uh, I think I'll jump back and chop another couple of trees down to get the John Deere going so I really need the forage wagon to start picking up the straw that harvester is going through that field way quicker than I expected it would nice settlement moving in no more buildings just yet Okay, let's knock another couple of trees down and get them hooked up then I'll see if I can grab the one that I've already cut down as well. I think that will be a good angle to get them all. don't destroy crops or I'd be pretty angry right now alright this one about here this in a little bit then do the same with these two now oh, good the Zeta made the bale sales that's going to be annoying. Not the Zeta making the bale sales, just the way those two logs stopped. And we'll try and pull this one in before I chop it up. I have a feeling this is going to go really badly. go almost perfectly. Of course now it's all not going to work. that a little bit better. Almost got this unloaded. I think the harvester is having problems too. So 6,300 roughly for that load of silage. That's really good. Okay, let's see if we can't 
try and rescue the Jundi somehow. I might disconnect all the wood first. Oh, okay. So what I should have done is just disconnected all the wood and he's perfectly fine now. Now I need to get the Zeta out of the way. However, I do have a nice parking point sorted out for him, which hopefully it'll head up to on its own. If we swing around, I should be able to pick up that other log okay. just have to drive around in another big circle, not drive into our canola field. Alright, don't know what everyone was worried about. Piece of cake. We'll send him back to the sawmill. Check on the harvester, although it looks like it managed to unload okay. isn't super efficient. But I think I'm going to leave the harvester just going up and down to finish that because I want to get at least some of the straw picked up. times and I did that yeah I stayed a while tried to make it right cigarette no I never smoked but my heart is broke explosive stressing for that old thing back 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 that initial love all the goosebumps those factors in my gut Push me away. I would 
was willing to try long as it takes I would never say we were a mistake But fleeting romance does in a lifetime make That initial play All the goosebumps Those letters in my gut Why we never got it back, babe If you miss me, just say that, babe Love on Hey, it takes care of that field. Just unload in the trailer quick, then I'll send it over to the river farm. Because we got that field on the far side of the bridge to take care of too. can start emptying out. The John Deere is in the sawmill behind us so I'll jump back to it and sell those logs as well. There's two big trees that I cut down and then just basically cut in half. Hope they sell okay. Uh, 5,000. I think there's going to be a traffic jam at the river parking spot because the harvester, the John Deere and this one are all going to go over to it because uh, I need to find the 150 I'm pretty sure it's at the oil mill ready to unload so I'll unload that and move the trailer out of the way then go pick up that big trailer unload it and then get it over ready to empty out from the harvester too. Just wait for the John Deere to go by. Okay, let's go find the 150. It's 10,000 litres of canola in this load. And yes, I know it's a 209 now because I upgraded it, but it's always going to be the 150. Calling it the 209 now is just going to be confusing. Okay, once this is emptied out, I'll just park the trailer over here and go pick up the big one. the one just over there that I harvested but didn't replant I think next episode when we do this big one I'll probably do that small one as well and I already emptied I think six and a half thousand in so that makes about 32,000 litres 
give or take of canola off that field, which is pretty good. Trailer with a decent unload speed. I like it. Okay, let's get this guy over the river. Okay, plot 23 field 2. So I could buy this block of land and both these fields could extend out and I could have another small field there if I bought this block it would make sense to buy this block hmm. so much to worry about in the future when I have money okay so he should be pretty good I'll grab Grab the 150 and move the trailer over into this field. So just in case we get a full combine load, it can unload into it. I think we get just more than a combine load off that field. Potentially, that's another one that I could just put a small sunflower crop or something in. Alright, I'll stick this over here so it's, I think it will be out of the way there. Finally feels like I'm making progress getting rid of this clump of trees. seems like I've been trying to get to it for months, which is probably actually true. I've been wanting to clear it out since the previous harvest of the field before I put the wheat in. Right. So, no grain. It looks like the harvesters come in. Yeah, that's really loud. I'll just sit here for a minute. Looks like the harvester is going to do it in one go. If it doesn't, there's going to be the smallest piece left to do afterwards. But yeah, this is potentially going to be a good field to buy. The one straight ahead of us now that I've managed to purchase all the land up that way. Okay, the harvester reckons he's finished and it didn't do too bad of a job. is going to go into this pen. Yep. Not sure which field is going to be done next. So, trailer can sit there and this guy can go down and also get repaired and filled up with fuel. Mostly filled up with fuel. <laughs> Fills. Wow. 
$350 worth of fuel. Shame I've got the forks on, I can't get that bucket. Fairly sure I'll be able to add this to the front though. I hope I can because it's going to be... Yep, nice. It's going to be the 150 that does all of the work once it comes to doing the mm, sugar beet. It's only a couple episodes away now too. Oops. Before it gets too far. How about we fill it up, which is the whole reason I bought it down here in the first place. So there's a grand worth of fuel between those two tractors. Okay, you can head back to the parking. And I don't know what field is going to be done next. So the next field to be done is probably this one. So he can go back to the river parking as well. I really like the cut through between the farms now. Okay, he can go to his last waypoint and keep going. Looks like I'll get about three more. Sorry, I try not to move the mouse around so much. I just keep changing my mind where I want to look. It looks like we'll get maybe three more wagon loads off that field of straw. This turned out to be a pretty nice size field too. And yes, my stump grinder is here. the oil mill I'll just check in on the productions since we now have 31,333 litres of canola off that field we'll be able to activate it and make sure it's storing still don't have our sugar beet harvested to make the sugar so I'm still waiting for the donuts it's a good thing we're not hungry well, gone the wrong way around here but I just wanted to swing by to jump in the John Deere and sell these logs quick another 3800 Alright, we can go back and pick up those last two or three trees. This guy can not drive straight off the edge because I found out last time that that's a really, really bad idea. You can go around the long way. So with that last lot of trees plus two more loads of straw should get close to about 50,000 I think. Been a big harvest episode. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I definitely need to get the funds to buy a bigger harvester though in the next two episodes. So it's going to be harvest a field and do more logs I think. 
uh, until that happens, I'll catch you all in the next episode. I also want to buy a faster forage wagon so it'll unload a lot quicker. Yeah, we didn't make 40,000, damn. Only getting 14,500 too, so it's a really bad time to sell straw. <laughs> Alright, catch you all. Okay, so I picked up most of the straw. Haven't done a load of wood yet, but just looking at corn and sunflower. Five meters, it's for the bison gigant Z61, which I'm not sure what that is. That one. That's 44,000. 5,000 litres isn't terrible. Doesn't show up there, but we can get a 5 metre header for it too. You terrible colours. He says as he makes it purple. Oh, I've got a design colour I can pick too. Which does basically nothing. Okay, we can do green rims. Forty-five thousand. I want a chopper. Don't really care about the wheels. Wheelie? Why not? Which only leaves me four thousand dollars. And I need seven and a half. So, hello John Deere, let's get some trees down and buy this one. I'll see you when I saw some trees. And we own one of them. Of course it's going to be green since uh, main, oh yeah, oh it looks like a John D one. I think we'll check it out properly next month. Still need to get that bucket moved. Okay, that was definitely an unplanned purchase. But we can now take care of our sunflowers in a couple of months. And I might even put in corn. Just for the hell of it. Although I'll need to see if corn flour or corn oil sell better. Wow, that sounds really good. Its lights are terrible. picks up so that's something okay we'll have a look at that in a bit more depth next month uh, that's it and I'll catch you all later
Welcome back everyone. It looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box. So, 22 wouldn't be too bad of a purchase, I think. The field here can expand all the way out there. And either this one expand, or I just put another big field in here. Then, I think this is a little bit hilly. But we can still do a field there, although this block... Oh, go away. So the block 21 hasn't got all that much land in it. Of everything left, I think either 26 or 22 look like they'd be the best to go for next. Awesome. Three trees left. That was really cool at night. Almost midnight, but the trees are gone. Thank you to the 150 for shedding some light on the issue. <laughs> They're finally gone. <laughs> I can expand my field if I ever get time to. Bye.